Dear students, in this module, we'll discuss the advantages and disadvantages of ab initio modeling. So to start with, you know that in ab initio modeling, you are trying to minimize the energy of the predicted structure. So if you have two structures, two protein structures, one with a higher energy and one with a lower energy, then you're obviously going to select the one with the lower energy. But then there was a problem that how do we know that this protein structure has indeed the lowest energy? Because you would want to select a protein structure that has the minimum energy of all possibilities. Since we cannot compute all the possibilities, then it becomes difficult to find a structure that has the global minimal energy. So a compromise is to go for the optimal uh, energy minimization algorithms. However, the problem comes from the fact that there is no clear way of choosing amongst these alternative structures that are generated. So if you are given several structures from ab initio modeling, then the only method that you have is to compute their energy and go for the lowest one. So to start with the pros or the advantages of ab initio modeling, as you know, ab initio modeling relies on the atomic properties within each amino acid that is of course forming the bigger protein. So the atomic level properties, the electrostatic inter interactions, the bondings, everything is included in the ab initio modeling paradigm. Hence, the structures that are predicted from such an exercise are physically and chemically valid structures. Now, towards the disadvantages, the ab initio modeling methods require an energy function as we were just discussing. So to find the best energy function that exists on the face of the planet is very difficult. So all you are left with is to find an optimal energy function that is suitable to your problem. So it will not be incorrect to say that ab initio modeling strategies do not have a perfect energy computing function. Also, Due to the many possibilities, these methods are very slow. They are computationally expensive and therefore take a long time to calculate. If your protein sequence, that is the amino acid sequence, is long, it's lengthy, then ab initio methods will take a very long time to predict the structure for that protein. To give you an example, so it may take an order of 10 to power 12 steps to compute a medium-sized protein structure using ab initio modeling. Lastly, there are some very significant challenges in ab initio modeling as well. So the first one is, obviously, to describe an energy function that is perfect which considers all properties of each atom within the entire protein. Such a comprehensive energy computing function is not present at the moment. So this is a major challenge towards computing the best possible structure using ab initio modeling. And secondly, the enormous amount of computations that are involved make ab initio modeling a very expensive proposition. 